Today, I'm going to show you how to connect a custom domain from GoDaddy to your website on Transistor. The first step is we need to enable the website on Transistor. So I'm going to give it a subdomain, podcast industry in this case. I'm going to enable that. I'm going to scroll to the bottom, click save. And now I should be able to go to podcastindustry.transistor.fm and there is my website right here. Now in this case, I want to be able to connect a custom domain to this website. Instead of it saying podcastindustry.transistor.fm, I want it to use podcastindustry.org and I've already bought the domain here on GoDaddy. My next step is to grab this domain name and I'm going to just paste it in here, www.podcastindustry.org. I'm going to save that. And now I need to head back to GoDaddy and under my domains, I'm going to click manage DNS. So here we have a list of domain records and the one we want to edit first is this one here, CNAME www. So I'm going to click edit and we're going to replace this at symbol with domains.transistor.fm. Click save. All of these other records, you should be able to keep the way they are and now you can test this out. And there we go, it worked. It actually happened really fast in my case. Sometimes it takes a while for these DNS settings to update, but in this case, it was almost instant. The nice thing about GoDaddy is they will automatically redirect the naked domain. So if I type in podcastindustry.org, it will automatically redirect it to the www address. And really that's it. The, the other nice thing we do at Transistor is we give you an SSL certificate for free, uh, that's through Let's Encrypt. So having HTTPS is standard on all of our custom domains. Some folks already have a custom domain, but they don't want to use the main domain for their podcast. They want to use something like audio.podcastindustry.org. That's called a subdomain. If you want to use a subdomain like that, all you have to do is instead of the www, you would put the subdomain you want to use in the host section, and then you would save that. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any other questions, we have a great help section at help.transistor.fm.